Hey everyone, it's Miss M. Today we are going to be talking about understanding scale drawings. You may need to use a scale drawing that shows an object at a larger or smaller size. Floor plans and maps are examples of scale drawings. You may also find a scale drawing in the instructions for sewing a dress for a pattern. In this lesson, you will learn about scale so that you can read and interpret scale drawings. Our first example is calculating the scale factor. In this diagram, trapezoid B has been enlarged to produce trapezoid A. We want to find the scale factor. To find scale factor, we want to do the scaled over the original. We started with trapezoid B, so trapezoid B is our original. So that means 2.6 goes on the bottom. And trapezoid A is our scaled, so 7.8 goes on the top. And then we have to simplify. So 7.8 divided by 2.6 is 3. So our scale factor is 3. Our next example is calculating an actual distance from the scale of a map. The scale of a map, 1 inch to 25 miles. If the length of Whitley Road on the map is 4.4 inches, find the actual length of Whitley Road in miles. Okay, so to do this, we're going to say we have our inches over our miles. So, one inch to 25 miles is equal to, we have 4.4 inches over x. Okay, so for this, we want our map over our actual, so we can also include that because that'll help you later on. Okay, and now let's cross multiply. So 1 times x is x, and 25 times 4.4 is 110. So the actual length of Whitley Road is 110 miles. Next, we want to calculate the distance on a map from the original distance. The actual distance between Mr. Hurd's office and his home is 120 miles. A map that shows his office and his home uses the scale 1 inch to 50 miles. How far apart on the map are Mr. Hurd's office and his home? So let's have our map over our actual. And we have 1 inch to 50 miles is equal to, we don't know the distance on the map, so we'll call it x, over 120 miles is our actual. So let's cross multiply. We have 1 times 120, which is 120, and 50 times x, which is 50x. And we want x by itself, so let's divide by 50 on both sides. We get x equals 2.4. So on the map, Mr. Hurd's office and his home are 2.4 inches apart. Next, we are calculating the actual area from a scale drawing. The scale on a map is one inch to four feet. The map shows a garden, and on the map, the area of the garden is eight square inches. Find the actual area of the garden. Now, we have one inch to four feet, but then we're talking about eight square inches. So our units don't line up because we have inches and square inches. So before we set up our ratio, we have to change our one inch to four feet into square inches and square feet. So we can do that 
by squaring them. 1 squared is equal to 1, and 4 squared is equal to 16. So now we have inches squared and feet squared. So our units line up because we have 8 square inches. And now we need to find the actual area of the garden. So let's cross multiply 1 times x is x, and 8 times 16 is 128. So the actual area of the garden is 128 square feet. And our last example is calculating the area given the actual area and scale. The actual floor area of an auditorium is 4,500 square feet. Jim needs to draw a scale drawing of the auditorium to calculate the cost of carpeting the floor. He uses a scale of 1 inch to 25 feet. Again, you can see we have feet and square feet, so we need to have all square units. So again, I'm going to square my 1 inch and my 25 feet. 1 squared is 1. 25 squared is 625. So now my units line up. I have square inches and square feet. Finish my ratio. I don't know the area of the floor in the scale drawing, but I do know that the actual square footage is 4,500 feet squared. Now I can cross multiply 1 times 4,500 is 4,500, and 625 times x is 625x. Now I can divide by 625 on both sides. So 4,500 divided by 625 is 7.2. So the, air, the floor area in the scale drawing is 7.2 square inches. And that concludes our video for today.